Hey guys, welcome to part two of how to draw Star-Lord. If you missed part one, click here. Okay, let's get into it. We last left off near his chin area. Now we're going to go ahead and add these oval shaped tubes, which are his rebreathers on the side of his jawline. And you want to make sure that they're right on the jawline, like right smack dab in the middle. <laughs> And uh, we don't want them to extend too far past his outer visor area at the top. As you can see, I kind of sketched that out a little bit too long and too big. So uh, we're going to go ahead and add these two lines. You know what? That's still too big. Let's go ahead and make it even smaller. Yeah, I think this size works just right. So now we're going to go ahead and add the separation lines on the tube. And it's kind of like a, a swollen hot dog where it's thick in the middle. Going to lighten that up to get rid of a lot of my sketchy lines. And this is what real drawing is. You know, you draw a lot and the lines you don't like you erase. It's erase, draw, erase, draw, erase, draw. You know, so. And now we're going to add the separation lines right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and add this tube connecting the chin area with the, that cylinder. Now we're going to go ahead and draw the other side. So first, we're going to add a slight guideline in here and put the cylinder, his rebreather, on the other side. And I'm drawing through the parts to make sure I have a full, solid shape. You can always go back in and erase that stuff that you don't need. And once again, add the tube in here. And looking kind of right. Tweak it a little bit. Erase some of those unwanted sketchy lines to kind of clean it up as I go along. I don't tend to do this too much in my drawings, but everyone has their own style. You can clean up as you go along or clean up a lot of the construction lines at the end. Now for the back of his jaw, you want to go ahead and darken in the lower line and add in a long tube going back towards his ear. And now we're going to add in a, another separation line here just in front of his ear. And we're going to add this kind of like metal plate on the outside of his ear. And kind of just bring it down it kind of looks like a octagon almost or a pentagon rather just over his ear and you want to give it some thickness and connect it up there and now we're going to draw the back of his helmet so you want to go ahead and just give it a slight curve to form the shape of his uh, head back there and connect it at the bottom and now we want to draw the side of his helmet where his hair is I want to come up and give it kind of a curved point at the top but not looking quite right so I want to simplify that shape a lot more and let's just give it a simple curve yeah that's better now for the front of his helmet it kind of looks like Wonder Woman's tiara, her crown, but don't make it as pointy. Just kind of give him that small crown like he just won a Miss America pageant. And uh, we're going to go ahead and keep it kind of straight. It's not pointed, so it's kind of tricky to make sure that it stays curved. And that's the front. And it's coming together quite nicely. I want to flesh out his helmet in the back some more yeah give it some kind of design so it's not just a plain curve going on the side of his head now we're going to go ahead and come back down around his cheek area and put in these two lines one going diagonally down and one coming kind of straight down and then put in another one and now we're going to add in these two very light guide lines and he has these three uh, small cylinder looking tubes on the side 
and they're they're all equal shapes so I'm going to try my best to kind of eyeball it and make sure that they're the same size if you don't get them the same size it's not the end of the world but you can get them very close and the guidelines are there just to make sure you don't draw one too much bigger than the other one so I want to go ahead and erase some of it there we go looking a little bit better yeah that's it and I'm kind of just drawing a slight shadow on one side of it it kind of gives it a little bit more dimension and it makes it more have that field out look so now we're gonna go back up to his tiara <laughs> and put in these two um, I guess uh, embossed or beveled rather not embossed but beveled looking shapes up here because the center part kind of it, it is extruded out just slightly not a lot his his helmet in the top and the side has these very subtle shapes and curves to them but I want to show you guys how to draw them in a simplified way so you don't have to draw all the detail now coming up to his hair we want to go ahead and stay close to the skull that we drew earlier that basic shape of his in the top and I'm gonna go ahead and thin his helmet out some more that's a little better yeah because his helmet isn't like a motorcycle helmet it's a very thin I guess like mask and his hair should be sticking out from it so you want to just draw simple sweeping motions for his hair almost like flames like fire flames and you don't have to draw each individual strand you can just draw like uh, clumps of hair and that gives the illusion that his hair is you know there that there are many strands there that's a trick that a lot of artists use to where they don't draw all the hair like you would be forever drawing every individual strand you don't have to do that for example when you draw flames you draw them like this just point it and then the back side of it not a lot of detail just very simple so go ahead and practice your hair um, the clumps of it just stay very loose but think of it as like flames fire flames and coming down towards the his neck area he has his trench coat you can draw him with his big trench coat with the collar up or with his jacket he wore both of them in the film so either one is fine and now I'm just putting in some small detail around the edge seam of his collar you don't have to be too detailed with this and now putting in his shoulder area with his uh, sash coming across his shoulder and it's coming over yeah I think I kind of did it kind of wrong so let's try that again <laughs> yes now it's more downward angled so like I say you can make this area as detailed as you want you don't have to be too detailed with it so we have most of it done. Now I'm gonna go back in and tighten up his mask and draw the other side of his cheek area. And once again, use the ruler or a straight edge to get things looking quite right. Because him being having that mechanical look of his mask or his helmet, you wanna be very, or more precise than usual. Not very precise, but more than precise. And I wanna draw in this corner edge where his mask meets the the vents in the front and kind of just take your time with it and just draw it up and down and then get the part that's diagonal going across there we go and I'll go ahead and connect these two the top side and the, the horizontal side and the vertical side of it in a corner where they can meet in the middle yeah there we go tighten it up and I'm still not happy with his tiara area up here I want to go ahead and simplify that even more so instead of having the kind of tip dipped out 
in the center. I want to make it more of a simplified shape. Easier for you guys to go ahead and copy this. And now we're going to go ahead and kind of readjust his hair strands and his clumps of hair. And there you have it. That's the line art for Star-Lord. Stay tuned for part three where we wrap this puppy up and make him look really good. And if you're still having a hard time coming up with your own superhero body, then click the link below in the description and get my free superhero mini course. Get started right now. Don't wait.